Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 30th of 2021. Well, it is titled Southern Sky from 38,000 feet. So what do we see here? Well, we get a view of the southern sky as taken from an airliner up at 38,000 feet above the ground. So traveling through parts of South America, in fact, towards Peru. And what we see is a number of different things, including our Milky Way galaxy or a portion of it stretching across the top of the image. But we also see another a number of other images that are present and a number of other things and those include uh, the Southern Cross way off to the upper left side there, right almost within the Milky Way, you can see the four stars outlining the Southern Cross and the Colsac Nebula just down below and to the left of that. Now also within this image are a couple of other galaxies. We see the large and small Magellanic clouds. The large Magellanic cloud just a little bit below center of the image there and standing out is a small satellite galaxy of our own Milky Way. And down below just just peeking over the horizon and the clouds there is a little bit of the small Magellanic cloud another satellite galaxy of our Milky Way. So we get to see all of those and we can see of course a number of stars including a very bright star there off to the right hand side which is the bright star Canopus. Uh, one of the brightest stars in the sky. In fact, the second brightest star in the nighttime sky after the bright star Sirius which is of course the brightest star in the sky. So within this image that we're seeing today, a number of things that those of us in the northern hemisphere are not used to being able to see that are normally never get up above our horizon. And that is because of the positioning and shape of the Earth as a sphere that it blocks out half the sky. And as the Earth rotates, certain stars will rise and set. However, stars that are very close to the south celestial pole would not be visible from northerly latitudes. You would never be able to see them because they would never get up above your horizon. And the same is true, of course, for stars in the north. There are stars in the north nor near the north celestial pole that cannot be seen from far southerly latitudes. So stars, uh, if you're far enough south, you would not be able to see the star Polaris or the Little Dipper or even further south, you would not even be able to see the Big Dipper. So the exact stars that you're going to be able to see will really depend on your location on the Earth and locations very far north or very far south get to see a limited selection of the stars whereas those closer to the equator get a much wider selection of being able to see at various times mo most of the sky. So that was our picture of the day for January the 30th of 2021. It was titled Southern Sky from 38,000 feet We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be rocks from space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.